In this video today, I'm going to explain how you can fix any input delay issues that your game and keyboard may have. So after watching this video, your keyboard will have the fastest response time and lowest latency possible. So overall, your keyboard will be faster than it's ever been before, which should in turn improve your gameplay massively. So if this video does help out guys, then please be sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Now let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Alright, so first things first, we want to be doing a few Windows checks to see if there's any sort of issues corruptions or anything else on our gaming peripherals specifically with our keyboards so to check this guys the first check we're going to be doing is the dism check which is a command line check so to do this you want to open up your start menu type in the command prompt just like this on screen you want to go ahead and run it as administrator this is very important once your command prompts opened up you want to go ahead and paste in this command on screen or copy and paste it from the description below and what this command will do guys is it'll do an advanced system image scan to see if there's any sort of corruptions or any repair problems going on with your gaming peripherals and more but we're interested in specifically here just our keyboard so it'll basically scan for that just go ahead guys paste it in and as you can see thankfully for myself and my pc there's no component corruption detected which is fantastic however you guys may get a similar issue to this one on screen where it says error then an error message and if this does appear guys what you then want to do is type in this command on screen which i'll actually have in the description as well so if you get any sort of issues guys paste in this command on screen and this should repair them and fix them for you but for me since i've got none of that i'm not going to do that in this video today as it won't do anything next we're going to be checking our drivers to see if there's any issues or problems going on with them to check for them guys you want to go ahead and click on your start menu and type in troubleshoot settings just like this open it up guys and then where it says additional troubleshooters you want to go ahead and scroll down on the left hand side and you want to find the keyboard and what this will do is if you run this troubleshooter right here is it'll scan your keyboard and see if there's any sort of issues relating to corruption errors or anything and if something does pop up you'll be able to fix it but if you're all good and nothing's broken and everything's working as it should it'll say that it's completed and no changes or updates were necessary next up we want to ensure that our keyboard repeat delay and rate is set to the lowest value possible which to do this guys you want to go onto your desktop press the windows key plus r at the same time the run box should then appear inside of this guys you want to type in control keyboard just like that on screen press ok and then after doing that guys your keyboard properties should appear and on the second option right here that says repeat rate you want to ensure that this is the fastest option possible if so make sure to press apply press ok and you are all good to go next we want to reduce our keyboard's buffer size which what this essentially does is it reduces the queue size of your keyboard's events on your computer which can reduce input delay but it does come at a slight catch guys because whatever value you do choose to input will depend on your hardware the better hardware you have the lower you can go with the value if you've actually got worse hardware you might see um some actual issues going on with your keyboard but i'll tell you guys the default value so if you do get any issues you can just revert back but to get it guys and to actually make this change to our keyboard buffer size all you want to do is press the windows key plus r at the same time this will then bring up the run box and inside of here you want to type in reg edit just like that on screen open up the registry editor just like this and then you want to click on the local machine one right there by the way i will have the path in the description below so you can just copy and paste it um, in this top bar right here if you don't want to go through all this then go into system then go into current control set then services and then in here you want to press k and you want to look for a folder that says kvd class just like that and then you want to click on parameters again i'll have the entire uh, path in the description below so you can just copy and paste it to get in here quicker inside of the parameters of all you want to look for a d word value called keyboard data queue size which is this one right here and if you double click on it guys you can open it up and the first thing you want to do is choose decimal as we want to work in decimals for the value and as you can see guys the default value is 100 and essentially when you lower this value in turn it's supposed to give you lower input delay but trust me don't go too low because that's what i did i went all the way down to like I think it was like 20 or something and I started getting issues. But after you guys have chosen your specific value, may that be 50, maybe it'd be 75, or maybe it'd be something like 90, you just want a slight reduction uh, if your PC can handle it. What I'm going to choose is 50, and after this guys, you've got to go ahead, select decimal, press OK, and then you need to restart your computer for this to actually work. And then after you've restarted your computer guys, you can then test it out to see if it works well for you. And if it does, great, keep it. You might even want to go a little bit lower if, if your PC can handle it, like maybe you want to go down to 25, or maybe even lower if you can, but I definitely couldn't. 
But guys, just try it out, see what works. And if you are getting issues, you can always revert back to the default decimal, which is 100. And again, after you've set it back to the default, guys, you will need to restart your computer again. And for the final Windows check, we want to make sure that sticky keys is disabled. To find this out, just go ahead and go on your desktop, right click on the start menu, click on settings. Inside of settings, you want to click on ease of access. And then on the left hand side, if you scroll down, you should see the keyboard option. And inside of here, guys, you can see use sticky keys. Make sure that these two options are disabled. Now, I have heard that by doing this, you can actually reduce some input delay on your keyboard, but I'm not sure if I entirely believe that because this in itself is a function that you're essentially disabling it. So I don't really know how it could do that. But overall, guys, I like to recommend that everyone actually disable sticky keys on their game and keyboard. If you play video games, just turn it off and you will thank me later. I promise. Moving on, we now want to check to see if your keyboard has any software because if it's got any software, you may be surprised to see that it could have a low latency option on it, which for my keyboard in itself actually does. So all you want to do guys is go onto Google. You want to type in your keyboard name and mine is the Wooten one. And then you want to type in software just like that. Now for Wooten, they did make some double movement software. So obviously this one's going to come up at the start, but it's actually the Wooten software for my keyboard specifically. As you can see, it says the Wootility is used to configure your Wooten keyboard. So click on that guys. And then as you can see for the Wooten software, it actually has an option where you can download the app in itself, or you can use it on the web, which is really, really cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and use it on the web. And guys, for this software in particular, as you can see, it's got a lot of customizability with changing the colors and all that stuff, but you'll notice that it also has a performance tab and if I click on the performance tab you can see I can set the actuation point of my keyboard which if I want a very very speedy keyboard in terms of how fast it takes for the keys to actually actuate when you press them I can go ahead and lower this all the way down to 0.1 mm and if I go over to this mode right here you can see that this optimizes your keyboard for input speed and when I enable it you can see the reduction so it goes from 3.4 ms all the way down to minus 1.4 ms or minus for both of them Look, look at that difference right there. And that's why, guys, you should check to see if your keyboard has any software. Because, again, you could be pleasantly surprised when you find features like this in it under, like, a performance tab or something like that. And then for the final tip for this video, guys, the last thing I want to recommend that you all do is disable any RGB effects that are on your keyboard. As what this will do is it'll put less strain on your PC's microcomputer chip. Because if you didn't know, the RGB effects, like the lights and stuff, on your keyboard, these can actually cause a small amount of CPU overload, which will in turn decrease your frames per second see so fps so guys yes it may be very small like let's say it might not affect it that much but in competitive gaming as you guys know any amount of fps even if it's like a little can make a huge difference so make sure guys you go into your software and make sure that you put the rgb fx to no fx so just turn off the RGB on your keyboard and even mouse completely if you can to get the lowest latency possible. And then after you've done that guys, you should see a huge improvement on the speed of your keyboard. If you've got any tips for yourselves that you want to share, feel free to comment them in the comment section below and I'll be sure to pin the best one I find. But apart from that guys, I really do hope that these tips helped out. If it did, feel free to drop a like on the video, drop a sub on the channel and use code LIFE in the Fortnite item shop to support me a ton. I'd really appreciate that. That's all I've got for this video. Catch you all in the next one. Peace.